Philadelphia. Mike and Alex, back at the Great Northeast. Well, 734, a part time Villanova student is under arrest this morning. 19 year old Vincent Kane of Brumall is accused of secretly recording people in public restrooms and on a classroom on campus. Kane is facing child porn, sexual abuse, and a host of other charges. Police say he secretly video recorded men and women at public bathrooms at Villanova and also at a Brumall CVS store and at Cardinal O'Hara High School. He would place the phone underneath where the candy typically is stored. It's very hard to see, but the camera would be able then to be focused on uh, ladies that were wearing skirts. For me, it's really shocking because I think the bathroom, no matter what, is supposed to be something really personal. It's really scary for us girls, you know, to have our privacy out there. And I just hope I'm not one of those pictures. As well as a CBS pharmacy. Police say there could be at least 30 student victims at Villanova, at least. They also found video from inside bathrooms at Cardinal O'Hara High School. That video is believed to be two years old, so he was doing this for a while. Police are concerned there could certainly be more victims out there. Okay, so let's bring a couple of people. Uh, our good friend over there, uh, attorney Fred Perry, is here, social media expert JJ Cannon. Fred, let's start with you. What Run through some of these charges now. Uh, the charges include um, uh, invasion of privacy, uh, unlawful use of a communication facility, and it looks like they found some uh, child pornography images as well. With 80,000 different videos and still pictures, my goodness, JJ, I mean, we've talked about some weird, creepy cases. This guy is unreal. Yeah. It makes a parent freak out. Oh my, I, I mean, is nothing safe? My first thought was, can I homeschool my girls for college? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this young man has some serious psychological issues. It's tough for me to believe that none of the images were shared. However, I did talk to a friend of mine in law enforcement last night, and he knew of a case where another person did something very similar and had many, many thousands of images on a hard drive that he kept for his own personal use. And if you think about it, if he had taken the risk of showing these to anybody, he might have been caught sooner. sooner. Mm -hmm. And even too, JJ, I mean, the fact that there's 30 victims that we know of, I mean, is there a way to find out if there's any others out there? I have a feeling uh, that this is going to be tough to figure out without, you know, somebody's going to have to go through the minutia of looking through all of these images. Obviously, they were very thorough about putting the dates and times of day that the video was taken in the restrooms at Villanova. Yeah, I, the police I just am so sad and upset for the victims that are potentially in these images. And as a parent, but the, at the same time, as a parent, I don't want to spread fear. This is not the norm. This kid has some serious problems, and I'm very glad that they have caught him sooner yeah. than later. You know, when you think about the high school, we haven't even discovered the pictures from the uh, high school yet. My God. But I, Villanova did release a statement saying, in part, the university is appalled by the behavior of this individual, and he has been banned from campus since shortly after the investigation began. It goes on to say the university is committed to providing resources and support to anyone affected by this incident there is nothing more important than the security and safety of our students and the entire campus community uh, but, but Fred uh, can, can a school be held responsible for the behavior of a student well I think you'd have to look and see whether or not the school was providing adequate protection and security uh, of the locations where the videos were taking place um, if someone is surreptitiously planning uh, the, the, a video camera in a, in, in a, in a location that is, is not likely to be uh, seen, uh, I, I think it's difficult to, to assess responsibility on the university. Well, uh, this guy, what, what, uh, we know the charges. I mean, how severe is the punishment? Well, it's, it's, it's very severe. I mean, I think you can, if this is all true, you can characterize him as a serial uh, invader of privacy. Um, uh, th this is uh, outrageous conduct. It's more than just someone who's a, uh, a curiosity seeker. Uh, this is someone, if it's true, uh, has serious psychological issues that need to be addressed. Well, JJ, um, I was looking at some of the notes that you, you had on this, and you were wondering, did they get background checks? Yes, I was very curious about that. You know, my son just switched schools in Florida from a community college to Florida Atlantic University, and they really put him through some, he had to really jump through some hoops before finally being accepted. Now, in, in uh, this young man's case, 
I don't know that there would be anything in his background because I'm sure a university is not going to go and talk to your friends about what kind of a person you are. It sounds like some of his high school classmates had had complaints regarding this about him in the past. So it's likely that he would have flown under the radar on that. I guess I, I guess somebody like this guy, this little creepy guy, could keep it secret from all of his friends, but think of all the kids who went to high school with him over the last three or four years, you know, what they're thinking this morning. Yeah. I, mean, well, I mean, JJ, what, what do you say to your kid? How do you protect yourself from this? It's almost impossible. You don't know that there's a camera <laughs> in the candy no. section of a CVS. No, 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 I know. The first thing I do is freak out privately in my own mind, and then I will calmly talk to my kids. You know, I, I've always tried to teach them from a young age to be really aware of their surroundings. I think that our generation of kids is growing up in a time really where not a lot of them have a lot of street smarts, if you well, will. True. And so we need to really teach them not only to be completely aware of their surroundings, look up from their phone and look around, see who's standing around That's them, right. who's walking too closely to them. And now apparently we need to look for cameras underneath well, the toilets. Real quickly, because we're running out of time for both of you, Fred, we'll start with you. I don't know if you have an answer for this or not. How do they catch guys like this? Well, yeah, I guess in this circumstance, they got lucky. Uh, they, they, they stumbled across uh, the camera uh, they traced it back to this young man and, and that's how they that's how they found him uh, but uh, the, the, these types of individuals are very very difficult uh, to, to catch and to prosecute uh, and when you do I think it you know, you, you got to make examples. I guess the sometimes. police departments are monitoring websites, though, are, are not websites. Or they should be doing sweeps of bathrooms or something. Probably so, right, JJ? Yes, because a lot of times people who are collectors of images like this will share them with other people that do the same thing in what we call the dark web yeah. or the interwebs. And there's a market for photographs and images like that. So I'm sure they still have a lot more digging to oh, do. Oh, you know it. If he's been doing this since he was in high school, my God. Uh, Fred, JJ, thank you both uh, very much. Thank you.